I'm like, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right. We'll start with Tyler Donahue. Go ahead. Great. Hey, Michael, how are you? Thanks for the time. Um, I wanted to get into it uh, on your running game today and, and what it meant for you guys up front in the offensive line. And then for the guys carrying the ball, Clifford, Levis, Yvonne Lee, Kazai Holmes, just being able to really impose your will and put this game away late. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was awesome to kind of see it come to fruition. Um, it was Charles, he's a guy here who's been preaching uh, a few basic fundamentals to us. And everybody's really starting to buy him lately. Uh, and then when you got guys in the back to let them do, it makes our jobs a little bit easier as well. Um, Kevon and Kazai keep running hard. Like, no matter what, you know they're going to run run as hard as they can every play. Then you get a guy like Will Levis who can come in at quarterback. Um, and he runs hard as heck as well. And then obviously, Cliff, uh, he's very dangerous with his feet. He's shown that in the past. Uh, and he's showed it today again. Michael, go ahead. Hey, Michael. You've been here a long time at Penn State, a long time. Where does this win rank of importance? Um, that's, that's definitely a good question. Um, Thanks. I don't know. It's hard to kind of put them together like that. Um, I say he's five top five, um, mainly just because you know, we're on five coming into this game, and this team just needed a win more than anything right now. Um, and it just goes to show that if you keep trusting your process, keep doing, keep doing what you're asked of by your coaches. Um, it's going to come to fruition, and did today. Uh, everybody played well. The defense we played a really, really good game. Um, not sad. We played good complimentary football. Uh, so for it to all come together, it's awesome. And uh, I think they said this is the first time we beat Michigan uh, in the big house since 2009. Um, so that's obviously uh, kind of a pretty big deal. So uh, it's, it's definitely up there. Andrew Porterfield. Hey, Michael. Thanks for doing this. Um, what did you see from the true freshmen today as they made their impact, like Kevon Lee, Theo Johnson, Kaziah Holmes, Parker Washington? What did you see from them? Um, yeah, it's definitely tough to to step up right into, right into Power 5 football like they, they've been this year and uh, have a big impact. Um, but I think it just kind of goes to show the, the quality of guys that we have coming into this program at this point. Um, and they've all kind of stepped up and – since they got here, since they stepped on campus, they've been preparing like they're the starters. Uh, they've been doing everything they can to put themselves in the best position. Um, so for all those guys, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, I think it just really speaks to the quality of talent we have on this team. Parth? Hey, what's going on, Michael? Appreciate you doing this. So, yep. um, we talked about the freshmen in general, but specifically uh, Kevon Lee. What have you kind of seen from him in his development since the first uh, minute he stepped on campus? Yeah, um, I mean, Kevon's a big kid. He's going to run really hard. I think the biggest thing for him, um, why he's starting to see a little bit more success uh, more and more each game is just because his understanding of the game is improving uh, each week. Um, and, and it's something you, you can see by the cuts that he makes and just kind of his vision running the football. Um, you know he's always going to run run hard uh, and he can couple that with a greater understanding of the game I think he's going to be really dangerous when he's starting to be bias all right sorry about that um I've kind of asked a couple guys this but I'm kind of curious just from your perspective when you're you're in the stadium I know it's one thing you guys had a parent and friends or literally that even more different than the previous games um, I mean, my parents come to pretty much every game, so I think besides that, it was really the same. Um, but uh, not really at this point. I feel like we're so used to just the crowd noise being a certain level and all that kind of stuff with all the um, all, all the regulations there is. Uh, besides being able to uh, look up and see my family, that was really the only difference. Nate Bauer. Hey, Michael. How um how important was it for you guys to, to have the start that you did offensively to have some success there right off the bat? Um, I think it was I think it was very important. I think it kind of set us up for the rest of the game. Um, we've been talking about for weeks that we needed to start fast, and I think we all just decided it was time that we had to actually do it. It was time to start talking about it and kind of 
put some of the things we've been talking about in action. Um, so I, I think I think it, it helped us uh, helped us get our confidence back a little bit, help us gain a little bit of momentum. Uh, we just kind of went from there. Rich, Mike, um, two things. One, I don't know if you've answered this before, but what was the difference in Cliff today? And secondly, uh, what was it like seeing Isaac contribute in such a big way to a win? Um, you know, I, I've always, I, I've never wavered in Cliff's ability. I've never stopped trusting him. I, I've never, never lost any faith in him whatsoever, and nobody has. Um, and I, I think the biggest difference for him was he was just playing confident today. He was playing confident. He was protecting the football, things that we've been talking about. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm surprised because uh, I know who Cliff is as a player. And, and today, today was him. Like, this is who Sean Clifford is. Um, and when he can do it consistently, he's a fantastic quarterback. And I think to see him get back to being him and to having fun, uh, that there was really no greater feeling. Um, and then to see Isaac today contribute was awesome. Uh, I couldn't tell you how happy he made me, honestly. Um, I, I really didn't realize uh, like how much he was playing because he hadn't really gotten any targets and that kind of stuff. Uh, but then today I saw catch the ball and I saw him getting up. I was like, I was like, oh, wow, like, that was Isaac. That's awesome. Um, and then, yeah, he just kept contributing. He made, made some really, really good plays for us. And, I mean, obviously, I've known him for a really long time, so it was awesome to see him contribute. Because, uh, I mean, day one, he's kind of – day one on campus, he's, he's always worked really, really hard. And to see him finally in a position where he can contribute was awesome. John, go ahead. Um, this fourth and uh, Hey, Mike, how are you doing today? Or thanks for the time today. Um, hey, it, without looking at the tape, how would you describe the offensive effort today in terms of it seems like you guys stepped up and made plays when you needed to make plays. But how would you describe the offensive effort from that standpoint? Uh, I mean, it all comes down to the execution of our details, uh, which is something that we've consistently been talking about. And I think today we just we did it. Um, I think that was kind of the theme for today was we stopped talking about everything and we just actually started to do it. We started to do all the things that we've been coached. Um, but when it comes down to it, really the only difference is we executed our details better. Um, we did it more consistently uh, across across the board. Uh, every play, we had more guys consistently doing it every single play. And that's, that's really what Coach Chiraga uh, and all the coaches talk about always. Um, and today we were able to do it. David Eckert. Hi, Michael. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Um, you mentioned before that, you know, one of the keys for Sean was playing confident. Um, can, can you guys up front kind of help him play confident by, by playing how you did today? Do you think there's a, a, you know, there's something to that? Yeah, I mean, I think I think when your team is playing well, confidence just kind of, it just, it just comes along. Um, I think after the first shot, everybody started to feel a little bit of confidence. Like, hey, this is this is who we are. This is what we're capable of, and we haven't. Oh. Got your back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, go ahead and start that answer again. Uh, I'm gonna need to hear the question again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I was just asking. You know, there's some kind of a, a connection between. You know, uh, offensive line playing well up front as you, as you kind of did today, and Sean Clifford playing confident, like you mentioned. Um, yeah, I would say so. I think when, when Sean it doesn't feel a lot of pressure in his face and he feels like he can sit comfortably in the pocket, um, I think any quarterback will play more confident when that's going on. But I think after that first drive, um, the whole offense and the whole team really just kind of felt a little bit of boost of confidence because we hadn't we hadn't executed like that in a pretty long time. We've done it here and there in spurts, but to be able to put a whole drive together like that and start fast, I think, was huge for us across the board. All right, final question, Ben Jones, go ahead. Michael, you, you've, you've been around the Big Ten for a long time. You obviously know the success that you've had in the Big Ten over your career. Uh, I was kind of breaking it down. I couldn't really hear the full question. Um, I guess to shorten it, 
how important is it, do you think, for Penn State to beat programs like Michigan that have had as much success as you? Do you understand sort of the value added there as someone who's been in the Big Ten for a long time? Um, yeah, I mean, you definitely you definitely got to beat the teams that are, that are going to be able to compete for a Big Ten championship and that type of stuff if you want to be able to do that. Um, obviously, our season has not started how we wanted it, but to be 1-0 today is, was everybody's goal. Um, and it's going to feel a heck of a lot better uh, getting on the plane and being 1-0 as opposed to 0-1. Um, so I, I think that's, that was our big focus today. Uh, the team didn't really matter. Uh, I said earlier, um, I think it was the first time Penn State beat um, Michigan in the Big House since 2009. Um, so that's, that's kind of a big deal. But at the end of the day, we're 1-0, and that's really all that matters. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate it.